Hey guys, in this video, I'll be telling you guys what you need to know to update from version 12, Discord.js version 12 to Discord.js version 13. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so before we start, uh, I would like to say that Discord.js version 13 is not out yet. So we can just install the master branch to uh, get the new features. So we can do that by doing npm i and then Discord.js and then add dev. All right, just do that and then you can install the uh master branch but it's not stable but it's gonna be discord js version 13. so let's get right into the first point which is sending messages so normally you would send your embeds like this so const embed you define a message embed and then you would directly send it like this but now in uh, discord js version 13 um you need to do something like this embeds and then you need to pass in an array and you pass it embed in here. Same things with uh content. Let me show you. uh you can add multiple embeds as well. You can do embed one and embed two. Okay, you can do all of these. Okay, so um uh, if you have your messages sent like this, like in normal strings, it will work perfectly. Like hello world. Alright, it will work perfectly. But I do recommend you to use the content option. So just open bracket and then just do content and you pass in content like this because it's a way uh, more better practice. So just make sure to, if you have time, just convert everything to content and then pass in the string in here. All right. So the next thing you want to take note is the intent section. So this is the intent section. So before Discord just, uh, during Discord.js version 12, we have it accessing straight from the WebSocket. So now um, this has been moved up, so we don't need the WebSocket. So just make sure to remove it. Okay, and I remove this. Okay. Next thing I would like to talk about is allowed mention. So in Discord.js version 13, uh, disabled mention will be deprecated and it will be gone so it will all be replaced by a loud mention so this line of code is practically useless so we have to use a loud mention so we can do that by doing a loud mentions all right and the next thing will be parse so in parse it will give you an array that you can choose what you want so if you want to mention users um you can just put in users in here if you want to mention roles you can just put it in here all right so there's another new property, uh, which is replied user. So this is basically when you reply to a user, do you want it to ping it? Do you want to ping the user or do you want it not to be pinged? So you can do this by doing replied user you can make it false. If you don't want it to ping the user when the bot replies to the user or else you just make it true. Speaking of replying, as you see here, uh, by default, it is set to true. So normally when you reply to someone, it will ping. So I will show you guys how to reply to a user without pinging in a single message so you don't need to change the property for the entire bot so just simply go to a send property so let me just say hello world okay so let's say you don't want to ping this message so hello world you don't want to ping the um the author so all you need to do is allow mentions all right and then here you do reply reply user and then just pass in false all right so this uh, this reply will not ping the user so same thing if you want um everything here to be false okay if everything is false and you want this single message to ping all you need to do is just change false to true all right next i would like to talk about um this too which is uh, changing a user object to a um member object so normally in discord.js version 12 we can just do this we can just do message.give.member and then we can pass in the user object and then it will change the user object to a, a member object but in discord.js version 13 you wouldn't be able to do this anymore okay but it's a really simple fix all you need to do is remove this user over here okay we're going to access all of the members and then we get the catch all right and then you just pass in user id so make sure there's id because um if you put in user it wouldn't work 
So just make sure to put user.id. All right, so I believe that in my earlier videos, I have been using the has permission um, function in here. So they have changed has permission to permissions.has, permissions.has, so make sure to do that as well. So I think the same thing is going to happen with fetch bands. So if you have message.guild.fetch bands, all right, all you need to do is just change fetch bands to bands.fetch. All right, the next thing I would like to talk about is deleting messages in a, let's say a timer, okay? So you want to delete this message after 10 seconds, you're going to do this in the previous version. So um, in the new version, uh, the timeout doesn't exist anymore. So you need to use your own set timeout function. So it's really simple. All you need to do is set timeout, all right? An arrow function, message.delete, comma and then just passing your time which is 10 seconds in this case all right the next thing i would like to talk about is uh creating new roles so this is an example um in my previous uh, tutorials i have made on how to make a mute command so this is how i did it uh data name muted role this is the role name and this is the reason why but in discord yes version 13 um you can't do this anymore you have to make it all in a single object which makes way more sense message.guild so roles.create okay in here you can just pass in a name which is muted role okay next thing is going to be reason creating new role for muted members so yeah i'm um, just change this to this format all right so that is a few of the biggest changes that you need to do to convert to Discord.js version 13. So I will link a guide that you can read in the description if you want to see more changes because I'm not going to cover everything. It's going to take a few hours to cover all of these. So yeah, I'll link it down in the description. You can read it if you want. Um, so for the next video, I'll be trying to make more of these Discord.js version 13 such as slash commands, buttons, um, select drop down so whatever they call it threads so yeah just stay tuned for those videos all right have a nice day see you in the next video bye